All right, folks, let's cut straight to the chase. Abraham E. Raisi, Iran's so called president, his henchmen, foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdulahian, are dead. Their helicopter crashed in the mountains of northwestern Iran. And you know what? Good riddance. Raisi, the quote, butcher of Tehran, was responsible for the horrific mass executions of political prisoners in 1988. This man was a terrorist leader and his death is a small victory for justice and sanity in the world. Now, while the Iranian regime scrambles to fill the void, let's remember their constant support for terror groups like Hamas. These are the same groups causing chaos and bloodshed in Israel. And yet we have Democrats who seem more interested in appeasing Iran than holding them accountable. Remember when Obama literally sent pallets of cold hard cash to Iran overnight. What a disaster. And now Biden, our current weak and pathetic leader, can't even muster a strong response. I don't want to I mean, choose my words. Contrast this with Trump's decisive actions. We take comfort in knowing that his reign of terror is over. We have destroyed the ISIS territorial caliphate, killed the terrorist leader known as al-Baghdadi. The world is a safer place without these monsters. He took ISIS down hard and fast. He didn't play footsies with terrorist regimes and that's exactly what we need more of. Iran's leadership has always been a threat to global peace, and their recent incompetence highlighted by this crash only underscores the need for strong conservative policies. Let's not kid ourselves. This crash is a small but significant blow to a terrorist state. While Democrats fiddle around, Republicans have always stood firm against these regimes. We understand the real dangers and aren't afraid to call them out. So yes, I'm glad Raisi is gone. It's a step towards a safer and uh, more braver world. A stark reminder of why we need strong leadership, not the weak, uh, need policies of Biden who handshakes the air and says black men will never amount to anything. George Floyd was murdered and there was a reckoning on race. Natural to wonder, democracy you hear about actually works for you. Black men are being killed in the street. You have to be 10 times better than anyone else to get a fair shot. Most of all, what does it mean? As we've heard before, you'd be a black man who loves his country, even if it doesn't love him back in equal measure. In conclusion, this incident is a clear win for justice. It shows the importance of a strong conservative stance on foreign policy leaders that is needed to capitalize on this. We can't afford to go soft on terrorist states. This is why we need strong leaders like President Trump, who understands these real threats and aren't afraid to act. Let's keep pushing for a safer, stronger America, especially supporting America first policies. And remember who elimin uh, eliminated ISIS, which wasn't Obama or Biden, it was President Trump.